As I said in a previous video, I met my uh, uh, former mother-in-law for the first time and her husband in over two years after the divorce. And uh, uh, when I dropped off my daughter, and it was actually quite pleasant. Uh, I've, for in some weird way, actually missed them. I didn't think I had, but I did. Apparently, I mean, we just could talk, you know, about life quickly. And the husband uh, to my ex-wife's uh, mother, uh, he said that I looked very fit and strong. So it was quite. Uh, uh, a funny or interesting experience but the uh, strange thing is that it left me with some it left me with some anxiety afterwards because it was weird seeing them all it's been three years I should be used to it but it's been three years since the divorce and uh, for some reason I uh, I felt for some reason I felt some kind of sadness when they got into the car and went away with my daughter, you know. And uh, seeing my ex-wife sitting there too, you know, because uh, it used to be us going together to the archipelago and stay the weekend as a family. And I see my daughter waving, you know, and I hug her. It's very sad. My ex-wife is going through hell at the moment with depression, bipolarity, she's bipolar and uh, we had had many argues and fights since the divorce, even screamed at each other, but uh, I really feel sorry for her now. I hope she gets better, I know how bad that the kind of depression can be. Uh, I wish only the best for her even though she left me and all and we had many disputes in, over the past time. She's still the person I married and had children with and our daughter. It will always be an intermediate between us for the rest of our lives. So, the underbreast. I need to fix my lipstick too. At least I look cute in the new makeup I tried. And I've already jerked, jerked off and feel this bad. Yeah. Being cute isn't all that good. That also. Looking cute sometimes doesn't make any shit of a difference. I think I'm gonna slaughter noobs in Call of Duty, Cold War, Cold Warzone, not Warzone, the Black Ops online after this. I need to get the anxiety, you know, out of the system. There's always some dude, some jerk, writing to my videos. It's mad beautiful, you look so awesome, you should be happy. Yeah, try living my fucking life. Being divorced, having your father dying, being depressed, having autism, having all kinds of issues, being fucking assaulted and abused your whole fucking life, uh, trying to kill yourself, uh, severe, severe anxiety, yeah, try to go through all of that, and uh, oh, I forgot to mention, um, I survived a civil war from another country, and uh, dictatorship and all of that, yeah, try to walk in my fucking shoes, and then talk about being happy and smiling, you know. I miss my daughter already. I miss my whole life. I hate that I still miss my life. really sad. I give a fuck.
I like my pants at least, they are amazing. Subscribe, please.